hello students this is a level 2 dft continuing from the last video this is the level 2 that is see report reservation query process reservation process happens passenger sees this he inquires from the reservation database then railway department will be having this waiting table and they generate the report they can have there will be cancelled table everything is uh, you know monitored by the railway department and the reservation process too they search and confirm the process again when searching also there could be a uh, update from the reservation and uh, whatever the confirmation process and goes to the again the reservation database once the cancellation cancellation process has been done again it goes to the cancel table and uh, goes to the department and can generate the report or if the cancel procession uh, sorry cancellation process happens then ticket generation process happens it's a uh, generate ticket here the waiting process happens and uh, waiting is it goes to the waiting table then the ticket generation happens so cancellation process once it happens then the ticket generation process will be like uh, you have not you don't have any you know uh, a train seat reserved okay it's like you know the cancellation ticket generation process okay cancel the ticket uh, generation process now we have talked about this dft see there are some notations that we use that we understand especially when you are writing it so to understand it to even to the clients or some others whoever is working in the system we need a data dictionary okay to understand so they are labeled with the data items which arrows are in the dfd are labeled with the data items so it defines the data flows in the dfd it shows the structure of a data and structure becomes more visible when uh, exploding okay and it can use regular expressions to express the structure of the data so this is how it looks for example it's a weekly time sheet it's underscore weekly underscore time sheet we understand easily right so that should that would be including employee name id regular hours plus overcome uh, sorry overtime hours and that is repeated for all the employees and pay rate will be hourly daily or weekly plus the dollar amount whatever the dollar and uh, amount is that is to be added then employee name it, co it could be first plus last plus middle name right so this to make it understand see if it is if i say it's id you don't know what kind of id it could be it could be with alphabets with the you know designation name whatever it is but if I, it is said that digit plus digit plus digit plus digit it's understood that it does not have any alphabets in it and only a four digit id will be there for the employee id so this is data dictionary for understanding betterment uh, understanding better of the data flow diagram so this completes your second unit students thank you